When did it first dawn on you or when did you first realize that police officers were hiding their names and their badges? That's a good question. I'm not sure when I first realized it. Um, I got some tips that started flooding into me via mostly Twitter DMs, um, direct messages, just people saying, mm -hmm. hey, I don't know you, but this is what I'm seeing with some pictures. And so I got a call from an editor at the Chicago Reporter, um, Fernando Diaz, who is, uh, I don't believe he's there anymore, but he's an excellent editor. And he, he called me just to see if we wanted to work together on something freelance wise, because he'd been following my coverage. And so I had just happened to be DM'd this, these things about the badges. So I said, hey, I've got this tip. Are you interested? And so we started pursuing it. And before you knew it, I mean, we got hundreds, hundreds of photos of covered names, covered stars, covered badges. Some of them were tucked in. Some of them had blatant black tape over them. Some of them weren't wearing them. And I was like, wow, this is not a one. -off. This is not a one off. This is an absolute, you know, epidemic or a problem sweeping through the department. And so we started, you know, we started asking, you know, CPD, COPA, BIA, Bureau of Internal Affairs. Uh, yeah. And so we started, you know, poking into it and digging into it. And we weren't really getting any answers. Uh, no one was telling us really much. They were just saying that they'll look into it. And then eventually we did get some good information back. I believe it was from COPA uh, who was working with us. And we found out that, no, you know what? They pushed us to BIA, I think. But either way, we found out there were 78 complaints from civilians and otherwise about this practice going on. And so we wrote about it. And then we just kept writing about it. I think we wrote two or three stories about it. And I'm, I yet to see a ton of accountability from it, to be honest with you. But I do know there are some officers who have been fired. Uh, I don't know specifically how many for that practice. But again, like many things in the, that's been negotiated, we learned the hard way that this was an issue specifically that wasn't to be handled by COPA, but in the agreement was to be handled by BIA. So, you know, you've got the cops investigating themselves for this, essentially. Yeah, ridiculous. And once again, it, that shows just a lack of accountability. You're telling me, and this is... Um, you have to do systemic accountability. You're telling me none of their supervisors noticed their badges and names weren't or badges were Some covered? Of the, we, we had white shirts that had their names and badges covered, I believe. I would have to oh go back and confirm God. that. But, I mean, I, I have to confirm that. So, I, I, But I believe that we may have had one or two that I have photos of. Oh, my God. I mean, that just shows you the rot in the system when they're doing it. And then they're not stopping it. Especially, it would be one thing if these guys had it and then 10 minutes later their supervisor saw it and told them to take it, undo it or reported them, reported them for it. But the fact, it would be interesting um, to learn if any of the supervisors reported any of their officers for that. Because you know the answer is no. But it would be interesting well, you know, to at least give them a shot to see. And to play, to, to be fair, you know, the, the big comment I got a lot from, whether it be readers after the fact or some anonymous emails from quote-unquote police officers, but I never got direct comment from CPD on this. But a lot of people were saying that these officers were afraid for being doxxed or, you know, having their address or home um, put out there and having their families be at danger. But I, I guess as someone who's been in the, uh, the military, that argument doesn't really sit right with me because you, you signed up to take this job and to pick up a badge and to pick up a gun and to protect your community or to, 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 everything that comes along with being a sworn officer or a sworn member of the military, et cetera. We don't get to hide our name badges. Like that's just not something that we get to do. It's just like a politician doesn't get to hide from a reporter the same way a private citizen does. You know, a private citizen has the right to say, I don't want to talk to you. I'm Joe Schmo. I live on Drury Lane and I don't want to talk to the reporter. But, you know, the state senator doesn't get to say that. You know, when you take on a public role or take on a public position, you that comes with responsibilities. And if you don't want that responsibility, then find a new career. Yeah, I listen, I understand the doxing, but you know what, officer? They can send a freedom of information request in like I have and have a listing of every officer and every badge number. That's a crack. That's a hundred year old practice that they're now using a, a 2000 uh, late teens excuse for why they've been doing it for over a hundred years. It doesn't hold water. And, and how about, how about mug shots that are getting posted of people that aren't even, that aren't even, you know, they're, they're just charged and they're not even convicted of a crime yet. So those people are getting doxxed. Many of the protesters got doxxed by CPD. Yeah, they did. Yeah. No. Oh, it was an accident. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, the Twitter account. Yep. 